Welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we invented electricity, or at least Elrang invented electricity. Which is a good start, I think. It's nice to actually have a little bit of backup power in the base. We've just about to finish building our batteries here. We're waiting for Jerry King. What is Jerry King up to right now? He's all the way over in the north of the map. Seriously, Jerry, is that the closest steel right now? Um, it actually might be, besides sending them off to mining, but I don't think anyone is a particularly good miner. I think our best miner is actually Jerry King. And obviously, if he's off mining, he's not going to be able to build our batteries. Although, hello, jackpot. Right, claim, deconstruct. These are steel walls, and the floor inside this building will most likely also be a steel floor. Which means Jerry King won't have to run halfway around the, the map. You know, him being an absolute unit probably takes him quite a lot of time there. Where is he getting this steel from, though? Um, come on, eagle eyes. There's some there. Okay, we'll forbid that. And there are some there as well. Okay, we'll forbid those just to stop him running back and forth and back and forth around the entire map. They're trying to get steel for, you know, the batteries when there are some literally right there. So what I'm actually going to do now... The, the, hopefully people have got their heads around RimWorld a little bit, for those of you who haven't played it before. I'm going to go ahead and download a mod that splits the work orders up a little bit more, so we can sort of fine-tune what we want our colonists doing at what point, so that things can be a little more automated, so I don't have to worry about, you know, whether or not Jerry King's running halfway across the frigging map to get some steel that's literally right in our front garden. So, let me just sort that out quickly. Alright, there we go. That's going to give us a little bit more fine control of what our colonists can do. And there are a lot of mods that all sort of aim to do the same thing here. There's a work tab, there's complex jobs, there's job splitter. I think I'm personally using complex jobs. I don't remember in hindsight which one I just subscribed to. But, it's going to give us access to exactly what I was hoping for there. The ability to separate, construct, and deconstruct. So, Jerry King will hopefully deconstruct things before he constructs things. So, as it stands right now... What will happen is, without this work tab, what would have happened is Jerry King would have deconstructed a little bit, and then taken the, you know, 25 blocks of steel, ran over to the base, dropped them off, ran back, deconstructed, ran back, dropped them off, rather than, say, deconstructing it all at once, picking up as much as he can, and then carrying it over. It, it, it does allow for a lot more fine-tuning of things like that, and it's going to make things a lot more efficient. Similarly... Harvest and grow being swap is quite nice as well because we could have anybody harvest but just L rain grow. And you know what? People should be harvesting our crops if they can because that would help out. You know, you don't necessarily need a good um, farming skill to harvest crops, but growing them is literally restricted by their growing skills. So I think that's a fair combination. Um, things like drilling as well. So so manning a drill is obviously going to be much much easier for for people to do than actually going out into the world and mining. You know, they don't need to worry about the self-defense aspect. We don't need to worry about them running across the map. We don't need to worry about anything like that, you know. So, this is going to help out a lot. I do like this mod a lot. But, obviously, for new players, it can be pretty overwhelming to have this many tabs. And there's one called Work Tab, which is... I used to play with that. It literally splits every last thing you can do into Remod into separate jobs. And the actual... The, the look of the mod is ridiculous. I'll put in a screenshot now, just so you guys can get a look at it. It's, it's absolutely insane. I do like it, but I think for the Let's Play series, people will take one look at it and think, yeah, no, I'm actually good. I'm not interested in that. But, again, if you're, if you're a veteran of RimWorld, I would absolutely recommend that. So, Jerry King, hopefully he's going to do exactly what I said there. He's going to go off and deconstruct everything we've told him to first, which is great, because obviously that means he's going to uh, actually be able to stockpile materials, rather than, as I said, running back and forth. There we go, look at that. The, the madman, he's done it. Okay, we need you to remove the rest of these floors, though, Jerry King. So we're getting to do that as well. Now, it's removing floors separate here. Um, I imagine it counts as deconstructing. Yeah, removing floors is also counts as deconstructing. Nice, okay. It's going to go and take out that ship chunk as well. So ship chunks will give us, um, components and steel, I think. Let me just double check here. There's a pretty good mod as well called more ship chunks, where, you know, these are just debris from spaceships. You'll get spaceships made of different materials landing. So rather than just being steel, you might get spaceships made of uranium. You might get spaceships made of, um, plasteel. Plasteel being sort of like the plastic steel, sort of Star Wars style material. Um, so that's a pretty good mod as well. It's not quite nice for balance. It does fit nicely into the game, since it's already a base game mechanic. What do we need to worry about now? Finishing the electricity, first and foremost. Getting some ventilation in the house, seeing as we're in permanent summer, definitely wouldn't hurt. Oh god, Jerry got sleeping sickness? Jerry King. No. Uh, what does that do for him? I'm not sure. Pain plus 2%, consciousness minus 2%, manipulation minus 2%, needs tending now. Okay. So he's going to build up immunity to that over time. As you can see there, 0.32%. It's going to take him a very, very long time to get over a sleeping sickness. So he's hopefully going to rest in bed. We'll get the Ever Queen actually. Yeah, there we go. She's automatically doing it there because we set the jobs pretty decently, I guess. She's going to be tending to Jerry King then, hopefully curing some of his sleeping sickness. Let's see, how does this work? So when he's treated, it should... Oh, okay, sorry. That's not the immunity. With certain... Oh, the immunity is at the bottom there. My mistake. That's me getting them confused. 
The way the sleeping sickness works then is it will tick up whilst it's not being treated. It'll go from minor to major to extreme. The immunity is at the bottom. That's going to take a very long time to get an immunity to. You see, it's not even at, at 1% yet. So we could be stuck with that for a while. What have we got then? Cargo pods. Let's take a look. We got cargo pods full of wort. So wort is um, unfermented beer. Huh. I mean, there's no reason why we can't grab that and put it in our freezer. And of course, the good thing about cargo pods as well is they drop steel slag. So if you're playing on a planes map, something without mountains, somewhere there's not much steel, these are pretty good because you can refine these back down into usable, workable steel ingots. Jerry King, you poor man. We might need to get someone else on construction. Oh, right, the Everqueen's doing it. Okay, fair enough. Now, she's a really shit constructor, as you can see. She's botching the construction of the wires there. So we don't want to let her do everything. Oh, okay, careful. We don't wake Jerry King up. The poor man has sleeping sickness. Please be nice to this, won't he? And we want to finish off hauling this out as well. Hauling? Hollowing this out as well. So we can actually get some vents in the walls there so that they can uh, breathe a little easier during summer. Let's take a look what we got. Vent. So we want to probably put them, I don't know, just above their beds probably wouldn't hurt. So we'll go ahead and stick four of those. Sorry. Oh, right. Both sides must be exposed. She's got to dig the rest of that out first. Let's go ahead and focus on the whole uh, water thing. That'd be pretty nice. Devil Strand. We don't want Devil Strand. What have we got? We want ourselves some... Let me see if I can find it. Some fresh water, some sort of water purifier, something along those lines definitely wouldn't hurt. Um, water, 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 water mill generator. Okay, well that'd be for like the sea or something. Water filtration, that sounds about right. Yeah, water generation, where is that? Um, septic tanks, okay. Um, air conditioner spot, am I fucking blind? Yeah, but am I blind though? Hang on, water filtration. Where is it? Well, that took an embarrassingly long time to find it. Okay, water filtration. Builds water filtration systems which treat the water supply, eliminating the risk of disease. What else do we want? Um, ooh, good question. Deep wells access a much larger area of groundwater. That couldn't hurt. Obviously, power showers, some sort of plumbing as well in terms of toilets. But unfortunately, it's just going to take a long time before we get to that stage. I think... Yeah, septic tanks, sewage slub compost, which we can always use on the farms... Water filtration, and then sewage treatment. That seems like a good idea. After that, we'll go for power showers and... Oh, shit. Can I queue those up afterwards? Yeah, there we go. Power showers and smart toilets. That will get us pretty much on our feet when it comes to... Uh... Sorry? When it comes to... Water. Why are you not... Gr grow first. Elrang. We need, we need food, you crazy man. Right. There we go. Consuming rice. That's not what I meant at all. We want him to actually be able to finish off, you know, planting the fields rather than researching first. When the fields are all planted and said and done, then he'll be allowed to research. Because honestly, food is a, a lot more of an important priority now than, than researching, you know, toilets. This is working pretty well, I think. We've got Jerry King collecting the food from the farm there once it's been harvested, taking it into the fridge there. How many? How much food have we got left? I must have a decent amount. Look, they're all eating dinner together. This is the nicest thing I've actually ever seen in my life. Are they having a nice time? Let's take a look at their needs quickly. Um, recreation satisfied. Quite comfortable. Initial hope. Soaking wet. I mean, I can't help that. It's raining. Ate without a table. You literally just ate off a table. What does that mean? Rebuffed by Everqueen. I attempted to create a romance, but I got the cold shoulder. My god, I've never heard such a horrifying combination of people. Elrang and the Everqueen. Now, that would, that would be seriously bad. What about um, what about our boy Diz Waltney here? Very low expectations. Quite comfortable. Optimist. This is good. You know what? The colony's actually doing pretty well. Why is this room so dark? Oh, right, because we've got... This is the one that we've opened up to allow for... Um, to allow for air conditioning. Speaking of which, Jerry King, if you can mine, can you mine? Like, if you can mine, like, actually do it. Let's, let's go ahead and cancel those a second so he'll carry on mining out this uh, air conditioning. Because once that's done, it's done. We don't have to worry about it anymore. I'll cancel that one as well. There we go. Oh, no, wait. We're going to put the vents right above their bed, won't we? Okay, you know what? For, for symmetry's sake, get back on with it. Apparently, our drilling, our mining is disturbing Diswaltney sleep. You know what? Shut the fuck up, Diswaltney. Nobody cares what you think anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. You're a has-been. Your day is done. And I especially don't care if us trying to install ventilation to keep you comfortable is keeping you awake at night. What a crybaby. All right, Jerry King, back to business. Jerry King is my favorite colonist right now, without a shadow of a doubt, just because he's done so much. You know, it would go, it would go in my opinion. Jerry King, there's the power rankings. Jerry King, Elrang, Everqueen, Diz Waltney. Why? Jerry King has basically built everything by his fair hands. The absolute unit of a man that he is, is cooking our food, keeping us healthy. He's building the bases. He's done everything you know he's done everything he's wired us up he's got us electric he built us plumbing i mean the man saved the colony why is l rank level two well he's growing the crops doing the research invented batteries i mean that's a pretty big achievement all things considered i like that he said hello while he was while he was having a wash there that's pretty nice well this was 
literally shitting. Alrang was uh, waving to him there. Is, is he not a little bit annoyed by that? Um, no, he actually doesn't care whatsoever. Understandable. Have a great day. Ever Queen is number three on the list because obviously she is she's the murder queen. She is she's the killer, the cold-hearted son of a bitch who's going to defend this colony whenever we're in trouble. And that's why I like her so much because she she doesn't do a huge amount, but when she does do it, she does it with a you know deadly precision. No pun intended. Um, although that did obviously cost us our first potential colonist there, which is a little bit annoying. This won't his last place because honestly he's not good at anything besides negotiation. So when we get prisoners, maybe maybe the power rankings will change depending on that. But as as for now. He's definitely no use. He's, he's helping out where he can. You know what? I can't fight him for that too much. But he's not hes not that useful. You know what would be useful for him to do, though? Um, cleaning the friggin' house. Because look at this place. What a mess. Trash. Dirt. Just everywhere. Good lord. Okay, right. What, what we'll also do is get some uh, wires down here so I can connect those lights up so they look a little bit neater. I'm going to do what I said don't do and actually just connect up the whole house. Because honestly, it's going to make it look so much neater. Does won't he? What do I want you doing? Yeah, I want you cleaning the whole house. Because honestly, it's an absolute mess. So, Diz Waltney, your number one job is to clean. If you can't clean, do whatever the hell else you feel like. I honestly couldn't care at that point. So, what we want to do is we want to set ourselves a cleaning area. So, this is a mod that actually allows you to dictate where they clean. If you don't have a cleaning area, they'll just clean anywhere in your home area. Now, just for reference, this counts as our home area. He's going to be cleaning all of that. He's going to be literally sweeping dirt off dirt, which is no good. So, we want to set him a, a decent cleaning zone. Let's take a look. Um... We want to go zone, we want to go expand allowed areas, and we want to say new area. And we're going to rename area 2 to clean my shit. Thank you, Diswaltney. Okay, and expand allowed area, clean my shit, right. And we're just going to set that to be the entire house. I feel like that's fair. Also the prison, but I kind of don't want Diswaltney to get shanked cleaning up a, a prisoner's, you know, shit style of a house. That is not a nice house. We need to put some floors in there as well. But... It is going to keep everyone else happy, because obviously our boy Diswant is going to, going to keep the place clean. Why are you cleaning rock rubble? Stop. Oh, wait, hang on. And then what I need to do is actually say, clean that area. Like I said, otherwise you'll start sweeping rock rubble from outdoors. But look at this man. Look how much nicer this house is already. Diswant, you've done it again. He might be moving up the power rankings. Because this is, this is, you know, it has a pretty decent impact, to be honest with you, keeping the house clean. Because that's probably their biggest complaint right now. If we take a look at Everqueen. Needs. Unsightly environment. Awful bedroom. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but that will hopefully fix it. And their bedrooms actually aren't that bad. I don't know why they're complaining too much. Let's try and keep them as happy and comfortable as possible. These are our four starting guys. You know, these are the best of the best. The the OG series candidates. Let's build some plant pots. You know what? For your services rendered, you gain a plant pot. And we need to build another light as well in Diz Walney's bedroom. There we go. All right. They should have some really nice bedrooms. Especially when he's finished cleaning up as well. What's he doing now? Oh, he's cleaning out the uh, toxic latrine. Now, can we build any sort of... We can already build a toilet. We can already build a toilet, though. Huh. I didn't... I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I failed you all. So, I feel like, in hindsight, then, let's try and sort out this horrible mess of, um, of plumbing and try and give them a little bit more of an efficient, you know, area to live. Oh, shit. We're all gonna have to build them a separate bathroom as well. God damn it. My ventilation system ruined. All right, fine. Um, let's start planning out some bathrooms in that case so that they're not gonna go... Buck wild on us because we didn't give them their own shower. Uh, we'll build a door there. That seems like quite a sensible place into a bathroom. And build ourselves some uh, some walls as well. Is that a bit large for a bathroom? You know what? I think that's fine. I think that's too bad. Let's go ahead and diverge those off as well. Because a shared bathroom is absolutely a no-no. They will go nuts if you do that. You thought eating without a table was bad? You wait till you see Diz Waltney shoot this place up just because he had to share his bathroom with our rank. So the spacecraft has impacted nearby. Why did they... Oh, right. They haven't actually landed yet. Boom. There we go. Nice. I thought that monkey was going to get it then. What we want to do is... You know what? Before friggin' toilets... You know, I didn't even realise we had toilets. Get rid of that. What we need... Carpets. That will stop them traipsing in so much dirt. And it'll actually free up Diz Waltney's spare time to go and do something a bit more productive than cleaning up the entire kitchen four times a day. Especially this damn dog. Prince of World, what's this? You are making a serious mess, my friend. What is he making there? Oh, nice. A blueberry and rice dinner. Ugh, maybe if it's a pudding, I suppose that wouldn't be too bad. Rice pudding and blueberries, that sounds alright. Jerry King, the bathroom king. Look at this man. Unstoppable. Everqueen is fucking up construction everywhere again. Thank you, Everqueen. What we probably should do, actually, let's, let's cancel that job and just replace it with doors instead. Just so I don't forget to actually build them doors on their bathrooms. Right, bathroom, 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 bathroom. Nice. Now, flooring. That's the next thing we've got to do. We've got to sort out the flooring in the prison. We've got to sort out the flooring in the bathrooms as well. Honestly... 
I'm probably just going to put tile in the bathrooms because it's a it's a bathroom, so who cares about how luxurious it is? Um, plus, you know, it means that we don't have to cut down so much wood. Oh, I reckon the Evergreen are actually kind of friendly, aren't they? Let's take a look here. Uh, bio, social, friend. Oh, she's friends with Jerry King. She doesn't like Elrang, but Elrang likes her a lot. Why does Elrang like her so much? Friend? Oh, that's pretty sad. He's friends with her, but she's not friends with him. Deep talk rebuffed me. Hard worker versus lazy. Why is her opinion so low in that case? Oh, probably because she's a psychopath. Everqueen made a comment about fat people to Elrang. What would Jerry King think of that? Everqueen, that's so rude. I don't know why Jerry King's fat. I've never really decided the headcanon behind it, seeing as he was a, a mummy. So you wouldn't imagine mummies to be particularly fat, seeing as they've been, you know, scooped out for the most part. Look at this man. No hour will ever stop him from digging out sandstone. It's his passion. Is it actually his passion, though? Um, minor passion for my work? It actually is. Unbelievable. Nothing says Jerry King to me rather than digging out a bathroom at uh, <laughs> 11 o'clock at night, you madman. I figured so much of the house is actually being used up. There's wasted room. Like, we've got so little stuff to actually store right now. And the storage base is taking up the majority of the space in the house. You know, it took this entire L shape. So what we'll do, we'll knock this one through. And they can have a proper decent living area rather than having... Um, that also means we only need one front door rather than two at that point. You know, they can have a proper decent living area rather than having just some tables. You know, we could actually build them a sofa, assuming we've got enough cotton. We can build them maybe a TV or at least buy one at some point. I feel like that's not a bad plan, is won't he? Is there really nothing you can do better than cleaning off the dirt in the unused prison? Honestly. What we could do is forbid that door and stop him going back in there. Oh, he's building it up. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. I jumped to conclusions. That was rude of me. I apologize. Why is this one not built up? That's in the main house. Jerry King's too busy apparently digging out these bathrooms over here. I mean, it's pretty important, so I can't I can't fault him too much. So how does the bathroom work? i got to re-familiarize myself because I haven't played this mod for friggin' ages. So what do we need? Um, let's take a look. We probably want plumbing. That seems like a good plan. We probably want um, water well. This groundwater, uh, the presence of sewage or other pollution may reduce water quality. Okay, sure. How do we get rid of sewage? Sewage outlet. Um, what? Can be placed anywhere. Sewage pool will spread. Oh, right. Okay. So we actually just pump it out into the terrain. That's horrible. I love it. Okay, sure. The presence of trees or grass will... Trees, water, or rain will speed it up. Um, should we just pump it straight into the friggin' swamp? Yeah, let's just do it. Alright, you know what? I'm in. And then what we want? Wooden plumbing? That doesn't seem very appropriate. I think steel plumbing was probably the best. Is there actually any functional difference here? Um, flammable? Maybe? Um, 100%. Right, do we want our pipes to catch on fire? Probably not. I feel like steel plumbing is just a better shout all around. So let's go ahead. Take this. Oh, is there a way we can run it through this wall without knocking down the wall? There actually is. Look at this. So what we can do... Is so we can run it parallel to this wall here. Boom. Look at that. The plumbing is actually in. So this will be our major outlet area here. And what we want is... Let's take a look. I mean, I imagine, surely... Uh, have we got to keep fresh water and clean water on a different on different pipes? How does that work? You know what? I'll work it out as we go. So let's run it just around the side of the house here. Actually into the main building. We'll run it around the back of these walls here. That should work, I think. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Does it need to be powered, maybe? Surely if it's just the flow of water, then, you know, gravity and pressure will do the job. Just just fluid dynamics, right? We don't need to power We don't need to power water. I don't think that makes any sense. The farm is looking good. Arang's done a pretty good job with the farm. Unfortunately, he's sort of taking his time when it comes to planting the heel root here. It's taking him ages. What's his uh, growing skill now? Has he improved at all? He's up to 8 out of 20. Wasn't he already? I think he was already 8 out of 20. Let's not worry about that too much. So what else can we actually have him do here? Deliver? So, deliver resources to a construction project. I feel like Diswalting would be pretty good at that. Oh, he, he hates doing, yeah, manual labor, I remember. Um, cremation. You know we should have cremating? The Ever Queen, because she's a psychopath. So, she doesn't care if she sees dead bodies or anything like that. Um, crafting. Again, not really relevant yet. Stone cutting, refining. This is all pretty irrelevant. We will need to replace the walls with something a bit more durable than fire. Because, uh, fire? Wood. Because if it catches on fire, then the whole base goes up in smoke. I feel like it probably wouldn't be a bad shout to start on that relatively soon it will also give us an opportunity to get rid of these ridiculous amount of stone trunks that are kicking around there are so many my biggest complaint about rim order now it's kind of I, I get it it's for balancing purposes the stone chunks take up so much room and they get in the way so much like look at all these ones that we've grabbed here it's like such an unbelievable amount you have to dedicate so much time to actually shifting them into an area where they're not in the way like alrang when he's planting these farms is uh, hopefully we'll see in a second yeah there we go look he's just moving the blocks to the next closest area there where is she going oh she's hauling wood Nice. Okay. 
What we'll instead have then, we'll have Diz Walney do nothing but hauling. He's going to be the premium hauler. Oh, he hates it. Ah, Diz Walney. My god, I just want to see you, see you dead. Um, Everqueen is shit at building. However, she could haul. And I feel like that's not a bad idea to have her just do the hauling. Just wondering, what the hell can we have you do then? Um, he's not bad at building, actually. 10 out of 20, that's not too terrible. I'd rather him help Alran grow crops. Because that would free up Alran to work on the research. Doesn't matter who grows the crops. I think I got it backwards. I think it doesn't matter who grows the crops. It's who harvests the crops affects how, you know, how much yield you get from that crop. Because we see we've got two there. So if we get someone with high growing harvest this rice... They might get, you know, 10. Whereas if Diswaltney did it, he might only get 2. So I think if we have Elrang harvest the crops and have Diswaltney grow the crops, that might make more sense. Just a thought. Let's try that instead. So Diswaltney, if we draft him now quickly, should start. Okay, he's going to eat his lunch first, understandable. Have a great day. There we go. That's working pretty well. So that will free up Elrang to actually do the research instead and keep the colony alive from his uh, technological innovations. What a great guy. Everqueen is going to be hauling. That's really good. Area revealed. What the hell? Oh, a tiny little chunk. Now, chances are, we've got a pretty huge mountain, obviously, south of our base here. Chances are this is going to have a big open area, you know? Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it does isn't there. We'll reveal it probably as time goes on. So, I imagine there'll be another, like, huge pocket of land very similar to what we've got over here. Shit, Alrang, minor break risk. What's up with you, Alrang? Bad hygiene, moderate? We're just going frigging clean up, you weird man. What is wrong with you? Oh, no, I'm really smelling and it's ruining my mood. If only there was a bucket within 15 foot where I could go and clean up. What an idiot. All right, well, there we go. That's apparently completely fixed that in no time whatsoever. Awesome. Right, the farm's almost done. Then we can send our own to do something else. Diswaltney can keep an eye on the farm, you know, replant anything that's eaten by animals, things like that. What are we going to get him to do after that? That's the real question. I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest. Um, let's get a door there for a start. Let's expand this area into here. This is the new storage shed. This one can go. This can be the living area instead. That I feel like that just makes way much more sense to me. Right, let's build um, another light sort of over here so that it's not completely pitch black darkness in here. Let's get rid of these conduits as well because they're kind of right in the way there, aren't they? He's awake. The man, the myth, the legend. Jerry King. Look at him go. Unstoppable. I can't believe how well he's building this entire base just single-handedly. Basically, everyone else, Diswaltney, the Everqueen, they're trying the hardest, but they are really fucking things up, let's be honest. They're not helping Jerry King at all. Look at how happy he is as well to be building this base. Unbelievable. Needs, very low expectations, plus 24. Night Owl at night, plus 16. Recreation satisfied. Slightly impressive dining room. Oh, shit. We've done it. Slightly impressive dining room and rec room? What is a rec room? Um, we're going to have to find out what room they're actually referring to there. Uh, how do I find that out? It's like, like this one, yeah? No? Uh, this one? I've, I've absolutely no idea how to find that out. How's it? Um, this one. No? You know what? It doesn't matter. Can we, uh, at room outdoors? Okay, I guess it's not that one then. What if we go to, what if we go to this one? Quality good? What is a, I have no idea what he's talking about. Let's ignore him. He's clearly a madman. He's lost his damn mind. Can you build those doors or not? Is that, is that something we can actually finish off now? Thanks, Jerry King. Because that counts as outdoors and that's not ideal. Um, Prioritize working on wooden wall. Now, we've still got a wooden well. I said that we were going to sort out plumbing this episode. That's absolutely what we're going to do. That's my mistake. You know what? Don't destroy the well until we've actually, you know, finished off the initial plumbing there. He's, he's getting on with it. To his credit, he is almost finished up with uh, what we've started to do with the plumbing there. I've just got to actually work out what we do now. So, first things first, we need to uh, get out all this freaking rocks out of my base. Um, and also this stuff as well. Let's just go select similar instead of grabbing every piece of uh, chunk on the map there. Right. Speaking of chunk, Jerry King is about to finish the prison. The madman, he's done it. Well, more or less. So that's pretty good, because it means next time we actually get an enemy turn up our base, assuming the Everqueen doesn't murder them dead instantly, we can hopefully name it after one of you lovely people. Now, the patrons have started to give me their names as well, and we'll do some giveaways, like I said before. I think, first things first, we're going to have to wait. And... <sighs> I think, first things first, we've got to wait until... Um... We've got to wait until we get more colonists before I can really do any giveaways like that, but we definitely will when the time arises. Can we, um, sorry, can we reconnect these? Because that's so ugly. Uh, no? All right, we're still waiting for that wire to be built. Understandable. There we go, the fire's out. So we had a, a fault in the electric circuit there, probably, let's be honest, Everqueen or Diswaltney's fault, which caused the whole thing to explode. Now, that can be a lot worse, depending on how much electricity you've got stored up, the explosion can be massive. So if we've got, like, an entire room filled with batteries and then there's an explosion, it will probably blow the entire base up. Um... So let's hope that that doesn't happen ever. Is the plumbing almost done? Oh, look at this. Jerry King. He's round to do the other side of the plumbing. 
The crazy boy. What we could do instead is then unforbid these bits of steel over here. Did I already do that? Apparently so. Resting. Jerry, come on. All we need to do is finish this last little bit of plumbing, for God's sake. Well, at least the lights are back on now. Can we reconnect them now so they look neat and tidy? Look at that. Oh, God damn it. There's one wire looking wrong still. Why is that? What is... Oh, it's the cooler. Right. Reconnect. No wires. He's done it. Well, besides these wires, which are still pretty annoying, I'll be honest with you. Let's get rid of those. We can just deconstruct those because they're still connected to the grid there. Finish off the floor. Finish off here. Make this into a proper recreational room that isn't just, you know, what it is now. Um, which is essentially a table and some chairs and a, and a research bench we need to get rid of. We'll turn this into a proper lab. Um, or at least we'll build him a proper lab later on, I should say. Also going to use the Furniture Plus mod here to build them all dressers. So dressers like, uh, oh sorry, end tables like dressers act as uh, comfort as well. They do give a slight little bit of bonus to their comfort. I hope they can still get in bed with that there. And there are other little bonus uh, things that we can build. So say for example, filing cabinets when you put them next to a research bench will increase, funnily enough, the speed at which they research. Um, what else is there as well? There's um, in MISC, in actual MISC, not hygiene MISC, tool cabinets. Tool cabinets, when next to workbenches, will increase the speed at which people work. So we'll put one next to the butcher's table um, just because it will increase the speed by like 5%. Now, you can put two tool cabinets next to each one, but honestly, do we really care that much? I mean, I can fit them in, so there's no real downside to it, is there? Nice. So now that he's got a nice selection of knives, hopefully we'll be able to butcher slightly faster. Is that the best use of our materials this early on? Uh, no, honestly not. But does it really matter that much? It's only like a little bit of steel for that. It's kind of a little bit extra bonus there. Jerry King, we need you to wake up, my friend. I wish you weren't a night owl so much you can actually get on with your your daily chores. We'll finish this bit. I will try and get some toilets done before the end of this episode. Because like I said, that was sort of the main point of this episode was to finish off the water and the plumbing. But I honestly think it's going to have to wait till next time. Just based on the fact that everything is riding on Jerry King the way it should be. Who wouldn't? I mean, look at this man. When we finish it, we'll move on to starting the arena. We can actually move on to the fun stuff. The food's dealt with. The, we've got a decent job order, a nice base size, bedrooms, you know, bathrooms. At that stage, we can do whatever the hell we want. But I don't like doing it because it does leave us a little more vulnerable. What I am going to do, just temporarily, deconstruct this wall so that Jerry King can move in and out freely. Rather than running all the way around. I did want to leave it in place just so that... Uh, just so that we had a little bit more defense, so that anything small on that side of the map would have to run all the way around as well. But we, it's nothing to stop us building this back up. Obviously, replacing these with our own, you know, manually built walls. Jerry King, please. Just work on this. That's all I ask. Nice. Okay. So that's going to save him a little bit more time there. We've got a pipe there. We can pipe in the latrine? I'm pretty sure that's not how latrines work, but what the hell do I know? I can't say I've ever plumbed in a latrine, to be honest with you. All right, they're still right there. Okay, understandable. And he's made a decent start on the sewage outlet. One out of 50. Thank you. Oh, a bulk goods trader. Nice. The caravan from the White Antelope Tasker is approaching. They're a bulk goods trader. So these guys are going to come and visit the colony. There's a lot of people there. We could try and recruit them. Um, now, because we don't have guest beds or anything yet, we can't recruit them with the hospitality mod, which I would recommend for anybody playing remote. It's one of the best mods in the game. That allows you, when people are stopping in your base, to maybe try and, you know, build up rapport with them, with their faction, or even recruit them. At a cost of annoying the fact that obviously you're stealing their members. Now, these guys we can't recruit because they're part of a caravan. However, they might still have some decent stuff. Is that a unicorn? Oh, it's a bull. Ah, <sighs> it's a bull. I thought it was a unicorn. What am I thinking? I genuinely... It does... Okay. N okay, in hindsight, you know what? Forgive me. It doesn't look anything like a unicorn. But at a first glance, what other horned mammal is there besides, let's be honest, a unicorn? Don't ever mention rhinos or bulls or antelopes or any form of deer. <clears throat> it's not relevant. So let's see what they've got for trading then. Who is our best negotiator? Obviously, it's our boy, Diswaltney. We do have some silver as well. So silver is the currency. We've got, what, 800? 800? 801, apparently. That's not too bad. He cannot talk probably because of poor health. What's wrong with him? So what can we buy? We could sell them Prince Owl What's This for $167. Absolutely not. Not happening. Have they got anything worth buying? That's a real question. Um... Flak jacket. Where the fuck did they get that? I might buy that for the Ever Queen. Um, just because something like that. She's already got flak pants, hasn't she? So a flak jacket, flak pants. She's going to be an unstoppable killer during the solo game. If someone comes out with, you know, a bow and arrow, they're not going to land a scratch on her. She's just going to be able to absolutely destroy them. Herbal medicine, not a bad plan because we can't plant our own yet because we don't have enough. Um, we don't have enough growing skills. So I'm actually going to buy that despite the fact that it's quite expensive. Actually, th their prices aren't too terrible right now. 
Oh, we can also sell them things as well. So if you look here, they are not interested in buying components, medicine, or plasteel knives. They are tribal. So obviously you can't sell machinery to, to those guys. But in, but say another caravan turns up from a regular outpost of, uh, you know, spacefarers, they might be interested in that type of stuff. You want to buy their cloth? We've got 142. Yeah, I would actually like to buy your cloth so we can start working on sofas, things like that. Relations have tra increased. No, we've actually gained a relation with them there because we traded with them. That might be a mod. That might be a new feature. I'm not sure. Either way, what I do know is she's going to be wearing that flak jacket and look like an absolute demon. Let's have a look at her gear now. Look at this. Synthread, button-down shirt. Synthread is one of the best materials you can build shirts out of. It's like synthetic threads, funnily enough. Um, heavily manufactured stuff. Flak vest, flak pants, flak jacket. Oh, shit. I didn't realize she had a flak vest as well. My God, she's going to be unkillable. What's everyone else got equipped? Aaron's got a helmet. I might actually give that to the Ever Queen, seeing as she's our, she's our combat king. She doesn't actually have any headwear. Boom. Look at that. The unstoppable killer. Plus, we can see Aaron's glorious, glorious... Uh, <laughs> his Mohican there. His Mohawk. Right. Um, Jerry King. Deconstruct that. We'll instead get him to uh, build up the new one in the office there. Or what's going to be the new office. Do you want to go ahead and just finish that now? Thank you. I appreciate... No, no, no. Jerry King. Uh, but I'm I'm clicking. I don't know if you can hear that. But Jerry King, I would actually like you to finish. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, he's going to finish the tool cabinet first. Okay, so Alrang's not going. Oh, Alrang already had it on lockdown. Good work. We would like Jerry King to finish his chair as well. Oh my god, look at Everqueen's portrait. Good god, she looks like she'd be hanging around children's playgrounds. Wow. Um, <laughs> not a good look. I will admit. Can we get Jerry King to finish his chair before he goes? Uh, Alrang's chair there before he goes to bed. Just so, are they eating? Oh, that's their pemmican, right? I thought they were eating our food. Just so he's going to be a little more comfortable doing his work there. Malnutrition Extreme? Sorry, Moderate was that? Starvation? Everyone's starving. Why? Oh, the rice isn't grown. Nothing's grown. But we haven't got any food. Um. Well, you know what that means. Everqueen? Let's fucking do it. Drafted colonists will automatically fire on passive wild animals. That's a nice feature. I need you to, um... Come over here and glow this tortoise to death. Jerry King, we, oh, sorry, I'm, we're going to actually need you to get up and make everybody some food. Where are tortoise? Impressive. She got a headshot on the tortoise. Really? A missing body call, part calls the tortoise to perish. Um, how did she actually kill it? Let's take a look. Shot it in the shell. Oh, it was, it was attacked by... Wait, it killed the panther? Holy fucking shit. It killed the panther. Panther tried to chomp the tortoise, but stumbled at the last second. The tortoise chomped the panther, and the blood loss caused the panther to collapse. Unbelievable. Wow, we should have kept that tortoise alive and tamed it. The panther killer. But you know what? We're going to eat it instead and gain its powers for our own. Uh, don't consume the tortoise corpse, you crazy, crazy man. Why are they hauling it over there? Uh, no. No fresh animals, if you don't mind. Corpses. No. Okay. Oh, god damn it. That's so annoying. Right. Here's how you do it, then. You set that to be the lowest priority. And what we have to do then is we have to say corpses, all corpses are allowed, but because it's the lowest priority, if a stockpile matches it better, so this one's allowed, no rotten, allowed fresh corpses, they should start hauling it to there instead. So let's cancel that. Haul? No, they're still moving it to the dumping stockpile zone. Why? Oh, because this one is not, it's apparently a separate stockpile zone. Okay, hang on. Draft and haul. There we go, it's taking it to the fridge now. Well, where's the other queen? We need to, to take that turtle to the fridge as well. No, don't consume it. Stop. Stop. Please don't ever do that. Uh, Protoss hauling tortoise. There we go. There's a delicious looking cassowary there as well. And some... There's a shit ton of uh, berry bushes we can harvest. It's my mistake. You know what? I need to pay better attention to things going on over here. They're just immediately devouring. Stop. Stop. You need to actually never do that again. Prioritize. All right. Forbid these. Fuck off. Stop trying to eat these animals that, quite frankly, we need to uh, cook up first. Prioritize. Hauling panther. There we go. Right. Prototype's butchering. Fucking hell, I can't believe that. Unbelievable people. A raid? A group of pirates? Oh, it's one man with a club. You know what? We'll leave this for next episode. We're going to see the killer Everqueen in action once again. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all of my patrons making this series possible. At the top tier, we have Sean Thornton, Danny Good, Zachary Harris, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Dels, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you all for your support. And of course, everybody else who's backed on Patreon as well. Brandon Latoniak, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noble S, Quet Larchley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Steve Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Luana Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, Duncan 27, Jordan Campbell, and Acero. Acero? 
I still don't know how to pronounce that. Thank you for watching. I'm enjoying RimWorld. I'm hoping we can start soon on what I planned with RimWorld, which is, of course, the arena where we fight to the death. This can be so much fun.